I want to um, talk for a couple of moments about something that's pretty interesting to me. Um, <clears throat> it, in terms of um, what I see a lot of people doing or, it, it, you know, a lot of interactions I've had with uh, people who see me talking about Top Networkers Group on my social media sites. They may have come across some of the things that we're doing. Maybe they came through the system and they get on the phone with me. And um, experiences in, in the past like this as well where people see our platform, they see our system, and really what they want to do is they want to get their company or their program into our system. And it makes sense. I mean, if you look at our program, if you look at what we're talking about, um, I can understand from their side why they would want to get their program or their company into our system. Um, but that is the very problem right there. That is the very sign of the problem that the person who is trying to get their company or their program into our system actually thinks the company matters. See, we're all doing the same thing in network marketing, no matter what the companies are. We're all doing the exact same thing. And the fact that we're not together creates a situation where companies are stronger than we are. And if we look over the past just couple of years, I mean, look, I took a break from net network marketing for five years. And I came back in 2009. Since 2009, I've seen a lot of stuff go down. Um, I've seen companies um, terminating distributors for what seems to be silly reasons. Um, reasons such as um, claims of networkers being in more than one opportunity, as if that's even the company's business. I've seen companies terminate um, di distributors at will for any reason. We've seen companies come and go out of business. Um, we've seen distributors lose their commissions. We've seen so much, and yet new companies continue to rise up. In fact, for those who've been following the industry, we saw what just happened um, with a company where the rumor, at least, or what seems to have come out is that the founder was stealing money and putting it into a shell account and has now opened up a new network marketing company based out of Mexico, which really looks like he took the money and ran. And yet, people are joining these companies. Now, I learned long ago that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over while expecting a different result. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2010, I started a top networkers group. You see, from an experience that I had in a year in 2009, combined with experiences I had prior to coming back to the industry, and just having an understanding of where the industry was, I decided that it was time to do what others were afraid to do. And that stop, start Top Networkers Group. Now, when I started it, I thought um, I was talking to other networkers who were like me and who thought the same way I did, but turns out they really only cared about programs. Like, they didn't mind this idea of networkers coming together so long as we all signed up into their program. There, there, there was no real effort of let's blend programs. Let's create an organization that makes money in several places, not just one. And so it's been an interesting journey for me um, be, because along the way I've made a lot of good business partners. I've met a lot of good business partners. Um, and I'm just being honest with you guys, I've met a lot of people with potential who um, either weren't focused enough or weren't really that committed or weren't really interested in following my lead, that's fine. Um, for whatever reason, I wasn't able to influence them to do the things that they needed to do um, to make this vision and this goal a reality. Um, and yet, I'm still continuing to move forward. I'm continuing to meet new people. Um, new business people continue to sign up for the system. I continue to have potential partners and people who might understand what I'm talking about. Um, but we're still looking at an industry, for the most part, who continues to be insane. We're looking at an industry full of people who continue to follow leaders 
um, into companies that put all of your eggs in, in one basket. And you're following leaders who talk against multiple streams of, of income. You're following leaders who um, can't teach multiple streams of income because they've never read the book. And so, you know, they hate on multiple streams of income. They tell you don't listen to guys like Al King. Don't listen to anyone who's telling you to do more than one thing at a time. And the reason that they do this, you guys, is they're afraid. They're afraid that um, they're, they're not going to be able to hang on to their incomes. Um, you know, because of what we're talking about here. See, what we're talking about here, to be honest, is going to put some restrictions on the MLM industry. See, you, you can't you can't have an MLM industry that is as willy nilly as the network marketing industry is. I mean, everything from the companies to the dis- to the distributors. Like there, there needs to be a code of ethics. There needs to be a culture of respect. You know, I was reading something from a, a gentleman who is a leader in the industry, a gentleman by the name of Dave Wood. M- m- most of you who, are, who follow this industry know who he is. He wrote a phenomenal post the other day. Phenomenal. Because he was talking about whether or not, and he's just talking from his level, um, whether or not a lot of people in network marketing actually truly care about people. And this is what I found. Again, you know, some people, um, or, you know, a lot of people that I actually ended up working with the team of people that I left to start Top Networkers Group. And none of them were that successful. I mean, out of all the people who left to work with those people, um, the only one who I think or know of who's actually doing anything or making any, any, any money is the main dude um, that they went to go follow. So... This, this keeps happening, you know, where people continue to follow leaders who don't really care about the well-being of the people. And, you know, I was thinking about this, you know, Dave Wood was talking about it and I was already thinking about it, that when I look at society and the history of people, people don't always choose the right leaders, right? I mean, if we really, really think about it, if we really get honest about it, um... This isn't exactly a strong suit of most people. Choosing a good leader. Choosing people who who actually have their best interest in mind. Um, And part of the reasons why is because the the immoral leaders, they have a way with words. They really do. They can really make you think that they care about you when they don't. And so, again, I, I will invite you, like I always in, in invite people, to check the channel. See what we've been talking about. See what our message is. Our message is consistent. Our message is that you cannot continue to do the stuff that isn't working. That we have to change something. That we have to do something differently. Our message is about loyalty and commitment and all these things that sound good in theory, and, and we know that they're good, but are seldom practiced. You know, especially by you, you the you the distributor, you the silly rabbit who keeps jumping around from company to company. Tricks are for kids. Like really and truly, tricks are for kids. If you're an adult, then you need to grow up and realize, you know what? I don't need to join a new company. I don't need to, to push a new product or a new service. I just need to line up with people who understand network marketing. I need to do three way calls with other leaders. I need to edify other leaders and bring my guests around other leaders who know how to take care of me and my people. Because that's part of it, too. Look, I work with people in this industry who try to take your people from you. They don't understand that that's not ethical. They really don't care about the well-being of their business partners. And it's unfortunate that they're in our industry. But we can run them out if we come together. If we create that, uh, that, that organization that can lead the industry. That's what Top Networkers Group is about. It's always been about that. But, but, but don't just take it from me on, on this vi- video. Look at everything that we've been talking about. And let's work together. Let, let, let's change things. Let's make things better. We'll see you at the top.